I have just released the MetaTrader 2 Match Trader copier, and this is both available for MT4 and MT5. So if you want to check it out, there will be a link to the copier in the description below, and there will also be a link to the user guide. So going forward with all of the updates, make sure you keep an eye on the user guide because that will be updated regularly. Just like I did with the DX Trade copier, there will be a 50% discount for this copier to Match Trader for the first week of its release only. So if you're one of those lucky ones who have discovered this video right when it's been released, then you will get access to a 50% discount. Okay, there is no code. The price that you see it on the MetaTrader page, that is the 50% discount already applied. If you don't already know, I have also just released a MT5 and MT4 to trade locker copier. So again, the links will be in the description for that. If you are using the DX trade copier or the trade locker copier, then you can also follow along in this video because once we get past the login stage, the EAs work in the exact same way. So in this video, I'm going to be going over all of the features and how to set up this match trader copier. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do to get started is if you go to your web browser for match trade and you look at the URL, if you click and copy from the HTTPS all the way to the .com, so this is going to be your server address. So make sure that you copy this, okay? And then if you move over to your MetaTrader and you're going to go to tools, options, and then go to the expert advisor tab. And you're gonna make sure that you have allow web request for listed URL ticked. And then you're going to paste that web address into here. So I've done that already up here. And once you've done that, then you can click on OK. The next step is we're going to load up the EA. So if you load up the EA and make sure that you're on the input tab, and then what you're going to do is in the match trader email, you're going to put in your email address that you've used to sign up to match trader. And then you're going to put in your password and then you're going to enter the server. Now, this part is important. When you're entering the server for the EA itself, okay, if I paste that server and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the, the slashes at the front and also make sure you take away the HTTPS. So this is what it should look like afterwards. Now, please remember that when you paste it into the web trader, you're going to want to keep the HTTPS, but when you paste it into your EA, you're going to want to have it without the HTTPS and without any forward slashes. So once you've put in your email and your password, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and where it says symbol suffix and symbol prefix, if you have any suffixes or prefixes inside your MetaTrader, so for example, over here on the left-hand side with your symbols, um, if you have for example, EURUSD.I or EURUSDX, okay, that would be called a suffix. So if it was X, I would just put in a X in the suffix. Um, if I had a prefix, so for example, if my symbol was A EURUSD, I would put in A right here, okay? And then what you're going to do is once you've got your login details, make sure that you save Okay, a set file for your details. And that way, when you go to load up the EA again, you can just go to load. You can load that file that you've saved and then all of your details will be there. You won't have to do it again. So once you've put in all of your details, you're going to click on OK. Once you've loaded the EA, if you didn't change the auto login, it should log you in automatically. But if it doesn't, then just click on login and you should see all of your accounts that are underneath your login. So for me on this particular account, I only have one account. So what you're gonna to want to do is you're going to want to tick the box of the account that you want to copy. 
So if you've got multiple accounts, make sure that you tick the ones that you want to copy. Any accounts that are not ticked, they will not be copied. Okay, so make sure that it says connected here and you have the account that you want to copy ticked. If you cannot log in, then make sure that you double check your login details, double check that web request. And if you are still having difficulties, then if you go down to this expert tab here, okay, it should have any error messages or any reasons as to why you can't log in. They should appear here. So um, yeah, make sure you keep in mind this expert tab. So the next thing that you're going to want to check is your symbol mapping. So if you go to configuration and then you go to symbol, okay, here you will see your symbol mapping configuration. Now, how this works is on the left hand side, you will have all of your MetaTrader symbols. Now, how it gets these symbols is it pulls it in from the market watch. So any symbols that you have in your market watch, they're the symbols that the EA is going to pick up and put in this table. If you want to add or remove a symbol, then simply just remove it and then just refresh the symbol list. Okay. And it will disappear from um, this table. And then on the other side, you've got your match trader symbol. So if your match trader symbol has not automatically mapped to your meta trader symbol, then simply just double click on it and then you can edit, you can put in whatever it is. Let's just put in a random number. Okay. So if on your match trader, this was the symbol for this one in meta trader, then you can always edit it yourself and yeah, make sure that it's the correct symbol for match trader. If you didn't put in your prefix or your suffix in the beginning, then you can always put it in here now. Okay. So if you have forgotten to put in your suffix, then you might notice that the match trader symbols are not mapped correctly. So if that's the case, put in the suffix in here and then just click on refresh symbol list. And then that should hopefully map your symbols correctly. If you did have to make any custom edits to your mapping, then you can always save that as well. So to do that, if you click on save or load map, and if you type in a map name in here, so I'll just put in a test symbol map. Okay. And click on save. And then that will save this symbol map. Now, how it works is when you load up, the EA again, and you log into the same account, it will load up the last map that you've saved. Um, but if not, if I was to restart this EA, this test symbol map would appear in this list. And um, actually, let me do that for you now. I've just reloaded the EA so that you can see, um, but when you reload it, you will see that you'll have your symbol map in here, and then you can click on it, and then you can click on load, and then that will load your saved symbol map file into your symbol map table. So the next thing that we can move on to is the general tab. On the general tab, we have our risk settings. By default, risk factor is selected and it is set to a value of one. Now what risk factor does is it will automatically adjust your lot size relevant to your account balance. So for example, if you've entered a trade at 1% for a 100K account, and you are copying to a 50K account, risk factor will automatically adjust your lot size so that it will also um, equal 1% on your 50K account. So what I'll do is I'll show you an example now. What I have now on the right hand side is the Match Trader platform. And what I have on the left hand side is the MetaTrader platform. So using a risk factor of one, it's going to automatically adjust my risk. So if I enter a two lot trade um, into a two lot pending order trade on this symbol, it's going to automatically adjust the risk for this balance, which is a lot smaller. So if I enter this trade, you will see that the lot size down here is only 0 0.02. So what it's done is it's calculated the equivalent risk for this balance here, and it's adjusted my risk size here. Now, if I put this on a risk factor of two, 
that's essentially going to double my risk inside of my match trader platform okay so if i then enter the same trade you will see that the volume is 0 0.04 lots okay so that is what your risk factor does it will enter the equivalent risk into your slave account but it will adjust it according to the balance so just cancel those orders and then what i'm going to do is i'll show you lot multiplier so if i have a lot multiplier and i select one what that's going to do is lot multiplier will multiply any lot size that you've placed in here by this value so if i keep lot multiplier on one and i enter a one lot trade it gets copied exactly at one lot okay if i change this to um 0 0.94 and i entered a one lot trade it will get copied at 0 0.94 okay so lot multiplier if you want to copy exactly the same lots then just keep it on one and then whatever you um, have as a lot size in your MetaTrader that will automatically get copied over into your match trader okay the next one is going to be fixed lots and this is pretty self-explanatory but I'll still demonstrate it anyway so if you've got a fixed lot of 0 0.02 for example any trade that you place in your MetaTrader the lot size is going to be ignored and it's going to send it at 0 0.02 so again using the same example if a trade at one lot is executed you will see that it actually gets copied at a fixed lot of 0 0.02 okay so that is what your fixed lot does the next options that you have is your max daily loss and your max daily profit so you can set this in either a monetary value or a percentage okay now if i was to enter a two percent max daily loss when the account hits that max daily loss then all trades are going to be closed okay and you'll have to wait until the new trading day now this is determined by your broker time for the broker that this is attached to it may not use your local time okay it's going to be set to the new trading day for your broker that's when it resets okay so you can do that either through a percentage or you can do it through a monetary value the next option that you have is signal delay and it's in milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds is going to equal one second of delay so if you have this ticked then any signal that comes into your account it's going to wait for this amount of time before it's then sent round up lots if less than broker minimum now this one is important if you are trading from a really large master account into a small slave account so for example if i'm using a risk factor of one and i'm using a large account on metatrader and I'm copying to a small account in Match Trader. Let me get Match Trader back up. If I enter a trade at 0 0.01 lot in my master account and I'm on risk factor of 1, the lot size it's going to calculate is going to be like 0 0.001, for example. And obviously, we know that that lot size is not a valid lot size. Okay, if I try to send that as a lot size it's going to get rejected so let me show you if i untick this and i go to enter a trade at let's say 0 0.1 lots you will see that the trade didn't get copied okay now the reason why the trade didn't get copied is because the lot size that was trying to get sent was smaller than the minimum lot size that's allowed for this symbol all right if i now go back and i tick round up the lots if it's less than the broken minimum whatever the minimum lot size is for that symbol it will automatically round it up so that it can be sent so if i now send the exact same trade 
you will see that it gets rounded up to 0.01 lots so that it can be sent. By default, this setting is turned on and this is only really necessary if the difference between your master account and your slave account is very large, okay? Or if you're using a risk factor. So that's what the roundup lots does. Just keep in mind that if you do choose to round up your lots and you're trading on a very small account, if those lot sizes do actually end up getting rounded up, then of course those trades are actually going to have more risk than if you know they wasn't rounded up. So just keep that in mind. The next option that we have is enable relative pricing. So if you have a large price difference between your brokers from MT5 or MT4 into your match trader, then you may want to enable relative pricing. So what that means is if you find that your trades are failing because the price difference is too much. So I know this is especially true on indices. Okay, sometimes the indices can have very different prices. So even though you've entered a valid trade with a valid TP and stop loss in MetaTrader, if the price difference in MatchTrader causes those levels to be invalid, then that trade is going to fail. Okay, so if you tick enable relative pricing and then you place a trade, it's going to automatically take that difference into consideration. And then it's going to adjust your levels so that you get the same equivalent trade into your match trader. Okay, even though the prices are different. So if you want to enable that, then tick the enable relative pricing. If you go to your filters tab, you now have some filters that you can apply to the EA to either ignore or to include certain trades. So the first option we have is include magic numbers. If you are trading with EAs and you only want to copy specific EA magic numbers, then tick the include magics and add the magic number of your EA. So for example, if I wanted to copy from two different EAs, let's say the first one had a magic number of one, two, three, and I wanted to add another one, I would put comma, and then let's say it was three, four, five for the second one. And then I would tick include magics. Okay, so what this would do is it would only now copy the magic numbers that match these. Everything else will be ignored. The next option you have is exclude magic. Now this is the opposite of include magic and you do not want to have them both ticked at the same time. So if, for example, if I wanted to copy all the EAs or all the magic numbers, but I only wanted to ignore maybe one of them, I would use exclude magic. So let's say, for example, I wanted to copy every EA that I had running, except for this one, I would use an exclude rule. Okay. I wouldn't want to use an include. So exclude will trade everything except for the ones in here. And the include will ignore everything and it will only trade the ones in here. Now, the next option we have is the same thing, but for symbols, we have an include symbols. So if I was to use include symbol and I was to do the pound USD, what this would do is it will only copy the pound USD. Everything else will get ignored. If I wanted to use an exclude symbol rule, and then I was to put in pound USD, This means that everything will be traded, but the pound USD will be ignored. Okay, I hope that makes sense. You may have to rewind the video a few times to, to understand it, or simply just give it a test and you will find out um, how it works. The next option that we have is copy buys and copy sells. Okay, so pretty easy to understand. If you have these ticked, it means it will copy all of your buyers and it will copy all of your sales. You can obviously toggle those on or off. You have the same option for copy pendings. So if you want to copy pending orders, then make sure that you keep this ticked. You have copy stop loss and copy take profit. So if you want to copy your stop loss or if you want to copy the take profit, then keep these ticked. If you untick these, 
then your stop loss will be zero and your take profit will be zero if it's unticked. So if you don't want to copy your stop loss or take profit, then untick these. The next option you have is ignore trades with no stop loss and ignore trades with no take profit. So if, for example, you want to filter out trades that don't have any stop loss, some prop firms require that all trades have a stop loss. So if you want to ignore the ones that don't, then you can tick on this and those trades will not be copied. The next option you have is reverse copy. So that will basically flip all of your trades. So if you've entered a buy trade, then that trade will be entered as a sell trade and vice versa. So that's reverse copy. The next tab is the time tab. And again, this one's pretty easy to understand. You have the option to trade on all of the days of the week. And if you want the copier to ignore certain days of the week, then just untick the boxes that you want to um, not trade on that day. You also have a time filter here. So for example, you can choose to enable the time filter and then you can put in a start hour and an end hour. So only trades that are open between the start and the end hour, they will be copied. Any trades that fall outside of this time, they will be ignored. And that is it for this match trader trade copier. As I said before, if you are using your DX trade copier or your trade locker copier, then all of these settings are going to work the exact same way. If you do have issues or if you do have, you know, problems with your trades copying, okay, the first thing that you should do is make sure you go down here to the expert tab and look at the log. And if the trade gets rejected, for example, here, you can see this trade got rejected. It will normally tell you why it got rejected. So make sure before you kind of send me a message, okay, make sure you go to the log and check the reason why your trade may have been rejected. And also for any other issue that you have, if you can't connect, if you can't log in, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the expert tab take a look if you've got any error messages in here and then if you do have to reach out to me that's fine but send me a screenshot of the error messages that you're getting and then that way i can actually try to you know help troubleshoot or know what the problem is and that's all for this video guys so yeah if you want to get this copy of a match trader there will be a link in the description below if you need help or support then make sure you join my discord there's a link in the description below it's the best place to contact me if you want to get access to the other copiers again there will be links for those but yeah if you end up trying out the match trader copier and you enjoy it then please give me a review hopefully five star review that really helps the copier to get ranked highly so that other people can also, you know, see it and, you know, copy their trades as well. So guys, if you like this one, make sure you share it with all the traders that you know, give it a like, and I will speak with you all in the next one.